With much fanfare, the latest IPCC report, Climate Change 2021, the Physical Science Basis, was published on 9 August 2021. The COP26 president, Mr Alok Sharma, stated that the UK calls for greater global ambition as UN finds world warming faster than previously estimated. This alarming claim prompts the questions, what was the start point from when the rate was measured? Was it a cold time or a warm time? Was it a normal time or an abnormal time? The answer to the start point is provided by the report itself. Global surface temperature in the first two decades of the 21st century was 0 0.99 degrees Celsius higher than 1850-1900 and global surface temperature was 1.09 degrees Celsius higher than 1850-1900. Why 1850 to 1900? The reference period 1850 to 1900 is used to approximate pre-industrial GMST. The period 1850 to 1900 is thus the reference period or start point from which global warming is measured. To highlight the full significance of this, we can turn to the study of Greenland ice cores by Danish glaciologist Jorgen Peter Stephenson that concluded that we live in the coldest period of the last 10,000 years. Links to a short video that summarizes the study are provided here. Greenland temperatures were reconstructed and displayed. The reconstruction displayed covers the last 8,000 years. You will find the strong resemblance to the Marcot study chart that featured in this channel's previous video. Professor Stephenson says we have temperatures from about 4,000 years ago that were two and a half degrees Celsius warmer on average than today. Now as we approach our time, we can see from 4,000 years ago to 2,000 years ago, temperatures had been decreasing. And at around 1875, we have the lowest point in the last 8,000 years, which is exactly the midpoint of the period 1850 to 1900. He goes on to say that other core samples confirm that the Little Ice Age ended at the coldest point in the last 10,000 years. And this is confirmed by the IPCC definition of the Little Ice Age as taking place 1450 to 1850. These findings have also been confirmed elsewhere in the Northern Hemisphere so do data from China and measurements from North Africa. And of course, these findings were confirmed by the Marcotte et al. study that was included in the IPCC AR5 report. Indeed, that study also noted that the decadal mean global temperature of the early 20th century, 1900 to 1909, was cooler than greater than 95% of the Holocene. This study by Kaufman et al, published in 2020, also confirms the findings of Professor Stephenson. The study notes that the warmest 200 year long interval of over the past 10,000 years took place around 6,500 years ago when GMST was 0 0.7 degrees Celsius, warmer than the 19th century. For additional authority, we should also be aware that Stephenson in 2016 was appointed Professor of Glaciology 
at the Niels Bohr Institute at the University of Copenhagen. Returning to our three questions, the IPCC AR6 report itself answers question one. The start point from when climate change is measured is the period 1850 to 1900. We will hand back to Professor Stephenson to find out whether 1850 to 1900 was cold or warm and could be regarded as normal or abnormal. He says, I agree completely that we have had a global temperature increase in the 20th century, but an increase from what? It is probably an increase from the lowest point we have had in the last 10,000 years. He says, and this means that it would be very hard indeed to prove whether the increase in temperature in the 20th century was man-made or it's a natural variation. He explains, it would be very hard because we made ourselves an extremely poor experiment. We started to observe meteorology at the coldest spot in the last 10,000 years. We now have the answer to our three questions. What was the start point from when climate change and the rate of climate change is measured? It is 1850 to 1900. Was that a cold time or a warm time? It was the coldest point of the last 10,000 years. Was it therefore a normal time or a abnormal time? It certainly cannot be considered a normal time. If we now translate these IPCC statements and see if they sound particularly alarming. Global surface temperature in the first two decades of the 21st century was 0.99 degrees Celsius higher than the coldest point of the last 10,000 years. Global surface temperature was 1.09 degrees Celsius higher in 2011 to 2020 than the coldest point of the last 10,000 years. Only those with a vested interest could possibly regard those statements as amounting to a climate crisis. But these same people are prepared to change our lives and economies. And this statement, which is a fundamental Paris Agreement premise and is being promoted by Mr. Alok Sharma and COP26, it is that the Earth's climate is changing from a good and normal climate to a warmer, abnormal and alarming climate and needs to be restored to its previous state. Is the coldest point of the past 10,000 years to be regarded as a good and normal climate? Before finishing, the hysterical claim that the United Nations finds world warming faster than previously estimated needs to be addressed for its lack of scientific rigour, cherry-picking of dates, and that the fact that it defies the very rules laid down by the IPCC itself. The IPCC definition for the measurement of global warming is the estimated increase in GMST averaged over a 30-year period over a 30-year period. Yet, in this summary for policymakers, two periods are cherry-picked, a 20-year period and a 10-year period. We can play that game too. We will look at the most recent six-year period, 2015 to 2020. This graph is produced by NOAA. Look at the rate of global temperature increase over the past six years. It is 0 0.01 degrees Celsius per decade. Per decade. 
in 100 years, global temperature would rise by 0.1 degrees Celsius, a tenth of a degree. In 1,000 years, it would increase by 1 degree Celsius. If you would like to join a community that opposes the anti-science and anti-democratic aims of the Paris Agreement, you can find us on Locals by searching on Opposing the Paris Agreement or go directly through opposingtheparisagreement.locals.com.